Hey guys, this is Andre Smirnoff for the Fast Lane Truck and Kent with MrTruck.com. And what do we have here? We have a 2016 Toyota Land Cruiser with a 5.7 V8 and an 8 speed automatic new for this year. That's right. And here's the question. Right, people take these Land Cruisers across countries and continents, and what if they want to bring a trailer with them for camping? Yeah, that's a good question. And we're here at the iGauntlet to find out how it does in an extreme environment. Right, we'll know just how it tows the trailer. Coming up right now on Fast Lane Truck. Now, under the hood of the Land Cruiser is the 5.7 liter V8. It's good for 381 horsepower and 401 pound-feet of torque. Max torque comes in at 3600 RPM. It's basically the same motor that's in the Tundra. But new for this year, for 2016, is an 8-speed automatic transmission. And we're here to see how it does up the hill. You said this is the first way? That's correct. It's Fast lane number one. So this is our downhill portion in the Land Cruiser. We had eight events so far. Yeah. Correct? So we, we hit the brakes eight times. We're not done yet. And this is how we're doing it, right? So when we come out of the tunnel on the way down, we're going 50 MPH. Right, right. And then we let the truck naturally accelerate on its own, you know, going down the hill to 60. Right. And then we hit the brake to bring it down to 50. Yeah, one more brake event. Right so that's there. nine. But you know, the suspension seems to be soaking up the bumps real nice. Yeah, it's a smooth, it's a luxury, luxury SUV for sure. Yeah, you can tell. How about that? It got right up to it. it and then it slowed it. down. Oh, yeah. So okay. That's where it wants to stay, I guess. Is that 10? Is that so that's 10. Let's say yeah. 10 brakes unless something drastic happens in the next quarter mile. Yeah. So 10 brake applications in the 2016 Land Cruiser. This Land Cruiser is rated to 8,100 pounds of trailer. That's quite a bit. We're using our test Logan Coach trailer at 5,600 pounds loaded because that's what we're testing the other SUVs in the class with. So we're doing apples to apples comparison. When we hooked up the trailer connection for this, the trailer plug itself was way up underneath the bumper. Very hard to get to. And we actually didn't give us enough room on a standard trailer cord, so we had to unscrew it and pull it out and wire it together. We come to the starting point. Boom. Hold that. Okay, we're zeroed out. Now let's get to 60, which wow. is the speed limit here. Yeah, 5,000 RPMs. Wow, this thing did accelerate. Earlier, I couldn't get this thing to go. Yeah, now it's moving. It's 60 mile an hour right here. Okay. You can go back to your digital mode if you want to look at your speed. Oh, that's okay. This one actually is very accurate. It's accurate. Most okay. of them are the analogs aren't. So I can go 60 right here, right? <coughs> yep, that's 60 right here. And then I think there's a 65 at some point. And then it goes back to 60. Yeah. But the main point is, eight minutes is basically our goal. Right? right, and if you look at the competition, so last year we ran the actually a sister car to this, the Lexus LX 570. I remember that. Yeah, and it actually uh, exactly the same trailer that they we're towing now, 5,600 pounds. So the Lexus did this run in seven minutes and 43 seconds. Okay, with the same engine. Same engine, but a different transmission. Yes. So this is a new transmission in this truck. And the Lexus did it with 3.8 MPGs. Okay. Of course, we tested other trucks in this category last year. We had the Navigator. Right. We had an Expedition. We had the GMC Yukon. Uh, but okay. those car were carrying a heavier trailer, actually because those were rated a little bit higher at towing. Now we want our tow vehicle and trailer to be level for optimum performance when towing. And we measure squat. In this case, it's two and a half inches of squat, which is about average. And we're also using the weight distribution hitch to get the truck and trailer a little bit more level. And of course, we're using 10% tongue weight. Now this, 
back at 60, but this rascal, you have to keep playing with it to get it there because it wants to drop off the nigga that it's got the power. Uh huh. So you can't just like hold it someplace. You got to keep working on it. Well, obviously you're not six. you're not flat out because no, you've got no, too much power. No. Yeah, I mean, it does. It's, we're still doing so, well, but I mean, I can't hardly. I got to keep going up, putting back and forth to get it to stay at 60, and it has the power. It just doesn't seem to like to stay there. I'm not sure if that's some of the automatic things on this, trying to save you fuel or what it's doing. It looks like it's going between three and four thousand RPM. There. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of unusual. Yeah. So let's take a look at the um, um, the pricing on this, shall we? Oh, okay. So we have <laughs> so this Land Cruiser basically comes loaded with all the options. Yeah, that's a lot of options. Too. You, you know, you pick your colors, and that's about it. Yeah. Uh, MSRP as tested is eighty four thousand eight hundred and twenty dollars. So almost eighty-five grand. Yeah. So that's pretty pricey. It is, but uh, it's, it's cheaper than the Lexus, right? It is cheaper than the Lexus. Lexus was over ninety thousand dollars. But you know what? This leather is so soft. I love the leather. Yes. Yeah. I like the way this thing shift the shift system on this. Except it doesn't light up and tell you what gear you're in. I guess. Yeah. And the center console has been redesigned. You know, you that's have a, a bigger big screen. screen. Is that nine inches or whatever that is? It's maybe ten. That's big. Yeah, it's really big. A lot of buttons. You know big button so it's really you know a good utility you've got your you know four by four systems down here you have your locker obviously this is a full-time four by four system so we're yeah. in four high so i guess we really can't save fuel by shutting the four-wheel drive off right we cannot we can't do it but um epa rates this truck at 13 city 18 highway and 15 combined That surround view camera. Cool. So you can see your trailer yeah. in the back and also for a top view. I am wide open throttle now. Okay, now you're wide open. Yeah, and it's open about 55 miles an hour. I can't get back to All right, let's let's you know go go a little bit faster. Kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. We have kinetic suspension, yes. dynamic suspension. Yeah, quite a bit goes into this suspension. <laughs> and all the so, crawl This is an off 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 road machine. Yeah. So how's it handling? I mean, you you were saying the steering was a little bit light. Yeah, it's a little light steering, but you know it's coil spring type suspension, and it is a little more sensitive to wind gusts. I've noticed that with several coil suspensions. But this one, I, it moves me around a little too much. And you know, it's uh, it, it's work. If you had a real nice calm day, it'd be a lot better. But if you've got to go to the mountains or wind gusts, it's a little bit of work driving this. Payload? Yeah. Payload rating on this Land Cruiser is 1,320 pounds. It's not too bad. Uh, uh, max tow rating is 8,100 pounds. Yeah. Um, and uh, gross combined weight rating is 15,885. But our weight, you know, with the two of us, the trailer and the truck, we're at about 12,000 pounds. So we're well be, be below the right, rating. Right, and with that, you know, using that payload number against our ton weight, it, just, it doesn't give you a whole lot left over for passengers. Here's how the I Gauntlet scoring system breaks down. We have four elements, each one worth 25 points. First, the downhill. Every time we touch the brakes, you lose a point. Then uphill time. Eight minutes is our benchmark. Every five seconds over that, you lose a point. Then the uphill MPG. Six MPG is our benchmark. Every point two MPG below that, we lose a point. And finally, every reviewer gets maximum 25 points for the subjective part. We average that together and come up with a final number for the truck. Yeah. 5,000 RPMs, you can hear that. There we go. We're almost there. This is a real so, truck, body on frame. I like it, body on frame. So here we go, we look at the MPG, and we're crossing the lights now. Boom. Well, the damage is eight minutes and 28 seconds. We're 3.8 mile per gallon according to the computer. Okay, 3.8. So we're actually a little bit over eight minutes, huh. which I was actually hoping for a better result. I thought we could do under eight minutes. So we each get 25 points for the subjective part. 
So what score did you give the Land Cruiser? 12. A 12 point. Why is that? Well, I mean, I like it. It's a big vehicle. It's body on frame, all things that I like. And it was quiet, but it took too much work to drive it. I had to steer a little more than I wanted to. It was a little more susceptible to wind gusts. Coming up the hill, I had to keep pushing and, you know, it's so hard to find that 60 mile an hour sweet spot. I didn't want to stay there. So it's just too much work for, you know, for driving it. So. Okay. So actually, I was a little bit below you. I'm at 11 points. And that's because, so several reasons, right? So we don't have a brake controller in this truck. Um, when we were hooking up the trailer, the uh, electric plug was way underneath. Yeah. So that was difficult to find and to adapt to our trailer. Um, you know, the mirrors are not super great for towing. I mean, they're pretty big mirrors, but mm -hmm. they're not ideal. So considering everything, including your impressions from driving, plus we were over eight minutes. Yeah. You know, I was really expecting this yeah. truck to be yeah. faster up the hill. So, so there you have it. Um, the final score, when you consider the braking, uphill MPGs, and the time, it's 60 points. And this is the first SUV we rated this way. Okay. So we'll see where we go from here. Cool. Very fast, cool. <laughs> yeah, and it's very cold. Cold. It's very cold. <laughs> For the Fastlane Truck, this is Andre Smirnoff. Kent with MrTruck.com. We'll see you next time on the Ike Gauntlet. And Ken, this is an exciting eye gauntlet. Why is that? Because we have the new GMC Canyon with the Baby Duramax diesel. Yes, you guys have been asking for it. I've been waiting for this. We haven't had a diesel in a mid-sized truck for forever, right? Oh, this is awesome. And we're going to take it on the eye gauntlet and see how it does. Yes. So downhill portion in the 2016 Canyon with the Duramax engine. Yes, an exhaust spray. An exhaust spray and, and tow, tow home mode. mode. And a Great controller, I'm so happy. Wow.